Good morning, it's Mark Shepard. This is The Morning Cryptos, and my coffee's gone. Someone drank it. So, so all right, let's start with Bitcoin. I'm going to do this in. I'm going to do it out. What did I tell you, people? What did I tell you? I told you. I told you. I told you. Bitcoin has taken a step back. So I call this breathing, okay? It breathes in. And it breathes out, okay? And at the moment, it's breathing out. We, we dropped, according to this chart, all the way back down to 3598. We had a little quick crash, right? And you've got to understand there are gazillions of trading bots out there. Hopefully, Control Finance is legitimate, and they're actually trading this stuff, not just showing little pictures of them trading. They're actually doing it, and they know what they're doing, whereas you and I don't know what we're doing. We're just trying to do the best we can, and we just want somebody to help us. And by God. <gasps> okay, so relax, people. Take a deep breath. <sighs> what goes up must come down. But what goes down doesn't necessarily have to go up. Right. Okay. Value. What is that? We don't know. Okay. Let's just look at the charts. We don't know anything. Well, let's look at the charts as if we don't know anything with beginner's mind. Okay. So we have, let's just look at, this is the one hours on Bitcoin. Just, just, for, just for learning purposes, let's look at the one hours, right? And... I should probably draw this a little better. And, you know, hindsight hindsight is always so accurate. All right, so here is a sideways trading range on the one hours of Bitcoin, okay, that is going down, right? <laughs> a sideways trading range going down, like you know it wants to go down, right? And you don't know if it's going to, where it's going to stop going down. Again, that's psychologically what makes this so interesting. We don't know where the rabbit's going to pop out. This is hunter's mentality. This is hardwired into our brains. It helped our ancestors survive. We're chasing a rabbit. We don't know where it's going to pop out. we got to pay attention. we got to be alert, hypervigilant. <gasps> and then if we can catch the rabbit, we can eat. If we don't catch the rabbit, we don't eat. Right. So that's why it's important. That's why we are, in many essences, our neurological basis is as predators, and we are looking for prey. But sometimes we're the prey. We gotta keep keep an eye over, keep an eye out. You know who's gunning for us, right? So anyway, I'm feeling somewhat reflective today, so that's where I'm going with it. But Bitcoin, in in and of itself, it wants to come back. See, the trading bots have sold, and now they're buying it back, right? Buy high, sell low. Sell, wait till it falls back, and then buy it back, right? And if you're very patient, if you are willing to observe, like a like a naturalist goes into the forest and sits still and observes, right? You can learn a lot. Uh, and so I'm still enjoying this, and uh, I think I'm pretty much done with the crypto cranking programs, definitely for now, anyway. So we have a little sideways range. Let me get my eraser. Get rid of those little boom and boom and go back to my little arrow. So if you thought you missed Bitcoin, you got another chance. All right. Now we have a bottom here that it will test. So keep an eye on this. Not a bad time to get in if it goes to 5,000, right? If it goes to 50,000 years later, you'll look back and see what a genius you were because you got in at 3594.04, right? All right. So that's it today. Good time to buy Bitcoin if you're bullish and you see long-term potential. Uh, if you're burned and you, you're done and you want to go back to uh, your day job, that's okay too. You know, whatever works for you, be gentle with yourself and kind. All right, let's get to the next one so I don't spend all day doing this. Okay, 
let's look at Ethereum. Ethereum, Ethereum. Ethereum broke out of its sideways trading range. And it came right back. <laughs> right? But it broke out. Now the next test is here at 345. And why is it little round numbers are always our target? Because the human mind, people. So keep an eye on Ethereum. I actually found out that I do have a little bit of it. I had some over at my Coinbase, um, in my Coinbase account, like 130 bucks worth at yesterday's price. Um, and so I moved it into my wallet and it took all day to get to my wallet, okay? Bitcoin, I moved some stuff around yesterday. It took an hour, right? That is not practical in the real world, people. If you're going to buy something, you need it to be an instant transaction, right? So right now, Bitcoin and Ethereum are, are not money that you're going to go to the store and buy shit with, right? However, Litecoin and Dash might be, and we'll get to those next. Um, and ultimately, we don't know if any of these currencies are going to be around 10 years from now. Bitcoin probably will. They got to fix the slowness, right? Fixing slowness does does take time, and we don't like that. We're impatient. We want it fixed now, damn it. <laughs> we want to make money now, damn it. I want to make money now. And so Ethereum on the on the 30s, not a bad time to get in. Uh, it is it has moved. It has come back a little bit. You can always get in. That's the thing is to stay in your mind vigilant to your negative thinking patterns on the one hours. Not a bad time to get in. I don't know if it's a good time, but it's not a horrible time because it, it you know, you could have gotten in here basically the same price uh, of that it was, you know, back on the, it's like the 19th of August, uh, not too long ago, right? So Ethereum's doing some stuff. Ethereum's doing some stuff. Not a bad time to get in because right now the low is kind of the same as the high over here. Let, let me draw draw that out here. See, right where it is right now is right where this resistance level was and where this resistance level was, right? And again, drawing a line doesn't do anything. It just kind of focuses and frames the scenario a little better. And we still have, I mean, look at the upward movement on the bottoms, right? Not quite as steep as it was over here. But still pretty steep. So, again, I'm bullish on Ethereum. I'm saying it's not a bad time to get in. I don't know if it's a good time to get in. Again, I do not give advice, but I have some. Will I buy more? I don't know. Thinking about it. All right. That's Ethereum. Be smart out there, people. Be wise. Let's go to Dash. See what Dash is doing. Okay. Dash. Dash made a dash, and now some people are getting a cash, right? I let it get up to here, then I sold. Right, and then yesterday I bought it back. Right, uh, so I think Dash is going to move. I think it's, it wants to move, but I think it's it might have made its move for the moment. You know, if you kind of look at where the chart goes, you know, we don't know. I'm just playing here. Where you know, where does this line lead? And when, you know, it's so it's all guess. What I like about this is that you don't know, but at least you know it's not a scam. Other other than the fact that everything's a scam, <laughs> like the all these markets are all tulip bubbles. They're all tulip mania. Everything. It's the human mind, people. It's not the tulip mania, oh those idiots. No, we're just like those people in Holland however many hundred years ago. And that was just the first kind of example of it. There's a really good documentary called Tulip Mania. I think you can get it on Curiosity Stream. You probably can get it on Amazon. Highly recommend it. Uh, it's kind of fun because we're doing it too. All right.
and we feel so superior, so morally superior to those silly people in Holland who got sucked into the tulip mania. But every one of these, every one of these people is tulip mania. The bond market, the stock market, the real estate market, everything. The time frames might be longer. But anyway, that's my that's my deal. That's what I like thinking about. And uh, let's do Litecoin. I might I might do Monero next too, because I wanna I wanna look at Monero. Alright, Litecoin. <laughs> Litecoin. Something's going to happen with Litecoin. You just watch. <laughs> of course, I might just do this forever. Let's say Litecoin just stays in the sideways range, sideways range forever. <laughs> right? Would that be a good thing? It would be more dependable, right? If the value didn't fluctuate as wildly as Bitcoin, you could actually use this when you go to buy a cup of coffee because you'll feel like, yeah, I bought a cup of coffee for X amount, and then I found out later that the next day this price was the same. That would be nice, right? <laughs> but they go, oh, are you using Litecoin? And for you, the cup of coffee only costs 10 cents, <laughs> right? Whatever. It could happen. So again, with Litecoin, as I've been saying now for a week, the bottoms are all higher. The tops are pretty much all in the same range, kind of being held down by this magical moment called 50, and all in this other magical moment called 55, right? So my guess is it will go up and it will test this 55 range and then it'll come back, but the bottom will be higher. The bottom will be higher. The bottom will be higher. Let's see if I can get more of the chart in here. See, this is just kind of well, like what Litecoin does. It does get volatile a little bit, but then it seems to settle down. I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it's good. That's Litecoin. Let's look at the one hours. Boom. And see how it's trading right around my line here. You can still get in on Litecoin. Not a bad time. There's time. It's not as exciting, not as sexy, not as pub public, right? But that's where the I think a lot of times it's going where the crowd isn't. If you if you follow the crowd, you're going to end up jumping off the cliff with the rest of the lemmings, right? And the question is, you do need to get some input. You do need some guidance, perhaps, in the beginning. But eventually, you're going to make up your own mind, and you're going to do what you decide to do, and you're going to take responsibility for your actions. That's really the deepest, most profound spiritual truth you can ever learn. We create our own reality with our thoughts and our actions, and our beliefs guide that. Some heavy stuff early in the morning, but there you have Litecoin. I still think it's sweet get in if you can is the advice I give to myself and I'm in I'm in Litecoin I'm in Litecoin and I'm feeling good about it because I know it'll probably still be there tomorrow <laughs> let's just take a peek at Monero which um, the Exodus wallet does not yet support but they're working on it um, and just look at Monero and again, Monero has some really nice privacy stuff. Monero has just absolutely taken off. Look at it. It has absolutely, it's doubled in price, right? And the fact that I don't really have an easy way to get Monero, you know, now I will look. There is now a market. People in Exodus Wallet will hopefully get it together. I got to find some place where I can get this, right? Well, it's too late. It's moved. It's too late right for now, but it will come back. These things all always come back. They can't make a move like this and sustain it because it's all incremental. Let's look at the one hours. See, I mean, on the one day chart, it looks like it just goes straight up, but it doesn't. Nothing goes straight up, right? It works its way up. It may make some fast moves and then trade in the new range and then another fast move and trade in the same range. But if you're watching this, if you're a bot and you're like tuned into this and you're 
you're designed to capture this, boom, you know, and hopefully this is what control finance is doing, that they're actually doing that and, and offering you a 1% per day payout on your money. Maybe they're the real deal. I want them to be, right? But I wanted all the other programs to be real too, and I don't know until I try it, right? <laughs> so that's it, baby. That's it for the morning cryptos. A uh, lot is changing, and uh, I still love Litecoin. So uh, I don't know. I still think Litecoin looks good. So if this was helpful to you, if you like this, please subscribe, please share. Please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. I'm doing my best to answer all the comments because I really appreciate your engagement and your willingness to to connect um, through the, the medium of this thing called the computer and the internet. That's a good thing that's happened, right? That's a good thing. Uh, people of like mind can find a way to find each other and support each other and encourage each other. So that's what I'm trying to do. My name is Mark Shepard, and this is... My 90-day challenge, it's my sixth 90-day challenge. And in this particular 90-day challenge, I am exploring the hypnosis of money and my own beliefs about money, my own habits, my own knee-jerk reactions, and trying to share it with people in a way that is hopefully helpful. And so that I can fund my music so that more of you will be able to hear my music all over the world. And uh, so that will be good, too, for me and hopefully for the planet. Blah, 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 blah. Start the music. Someone shut this man up. He loves to hear himself talk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Mark Shepard, over now. Peace. Grooviness. Peace.